Hey, how's it going, Jonathan? This is Devin Norton again from SEO Dallas, Texas. Uh, I want to thank you for clicking on this video, and I really want to thank you specifically because I know you're very like apprehensive about giving me your email, and so I appreciate you giving me the trust to at least give me your email just so you can get this video. This video is just going to be some tips for you on how to bring in more customers onto your website, and you know you're probably asking why I'm even making this video for you. Uh, it's really simple. There's a lot of small business owners out there that are spending all of their time running their business and taking care of their customers. And they typically don't have the time to learn how to make the internet work for them and bring in more of those customers. Typically, the only thing holding them back from hiring a marketing agency is they just don't know who is an expert and who's not. So I found that by making these attack plans and just giving them away for free, there's a lot of business owners out there who still end up raising their hands going, you know what, Devin, I like you. Just take care of all this stuff for me. So at the end of this all, you see I've got some tricks in my sleeve and I can really help you out. Give me a call. We can chat. If you do want to take this information and apply it yourself, that'll make me happy too. There's no problem with that whatsoever. This is free education. I'm going to talk to you about three quick things. Um, how to make your website more of an authority, how to make your website more trustworthy, and then how to get yourself ranked on the local map pack rankings. So to start, your website is a great looking website. I really like the photos you have here. I like this little hover over feature. It's a really like beautiful looking website. Um, you've got, ooh, I didn't even notice this when I first got on it. Oh, does this scroll? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, this is a really cool looking website you got here. Um, as far as content goes, to, to be considered an authority in Google's eyes, all they can do is read through content and text to determine what kind, uh, where to rank you on a website. So what they do is they break down the website, they break it up into text, including all the images, whatever the images are saved as, and they scan through it, and they look for keywords. And keywords are just phrases that people search into Google to find your business. So for you specifically, it'd be like Fort Worth Plumbing or Plumbers in Fort Worth or something like that. Now, to be considered an authority, Google wants you to have about 1,500 to 2,000 words on your front page because when they point a customer to a website, they want to give them the best experience. And the best experience is finding the one article that's the end-all, say-all. So the more content, the better. Content is king. Um, and like I said, that includes all your images and stuff. So as far as your content goes, you're probably sitting at about like 150 words on this front page, if that. Not at 1500, which is where you want to be. So that's my first tip is to get yourself up to that 1500 word mark. Also, whatever images are saved as does count. So if we see this image, save image as. It says image 4-min. You can save this as Fort Worth Plumbing and it'll help you rank for that keyword. All right. If you look at your main competitor, you got Joiner Plumbing. These guys pop up number one for uh, Fort Worth Plumbing. And you can see these guys, they got a bit of content on their page. Not that much more than you, but just a tiny bit more. Um, but they're it's still enough. If you got your 1500 to 2000 words, you're going to blow them out of the water. So that's why that's my first tip. Now content is king, but it's not the end all fix all. My next tip is how to make your website more trustworthy because Google is like a popularity contest. And so they look at how many other websites are linking to your website, driving traffic to your website. And those are called backlinks, but not all backlinks are created equal. You do get a lot more power from other plumbing companies linking to you than you would from like, let's say pizza hut linking to you because you're not out there slinging pizzas. So I use a tool to check this out. It's called Ahrefs. It does cost about a thousand bucks a month, but it gives you some really valuable data on what's going on in the back end of websites. And so if you take a quick peek right here, it says that Intuition Plumbing has been doing SEO since May of 2020. And you just kind of been steadily adding links and it's really started to ramp up near the end of the year. Um, and that's where you're sitting at. You're just sitting at 19 as of today. Ah, uh, well, uh, December 24th, you're at 18. So either way, you're at 19, you have no traffic. Not a bad thing. Uh, it looks like you're obviously doing some work. Let me show you what you're up against. If you go with Joiner Plumbing, these guys have 42 websites linking to them. They've been around for a long time, so they are going to have that working for them, but you can still beat them by dominating them. So what I'd recommend is not just matching them with 42, but completely blowing them out of the water and getting like 60 to 75. Heck, why not even go for 100? And the best way to do this is to go and figure out what links they're getting, because if it ranks for them, it'll rank for you. Go get those links and then get them for yourself. So all these pages that are linking to them, you go to these pages and you either contact them or you make a, um, a contact and ask for a link um, or you go to like you create an uh, account on their, their page, stuff like that. To find local is probably a directory where you can submit yourself my account, stuff like that. And you just try to get links from all these different companies. But there's a lot of business out there. You know, if you do um, beat them, you're going to take all the traffic from them and they're getting about 347 people a month. I mean, keep in mind, people don't like to like uh, they don't look up plumbing for fun. They look it up when they need a plumber. So that's mostly interested customers clicking on their site, seeing their brand. You know, that's how you grow really rapidly. So that's my second tip to make yourself more trustworthy is those backlinks. My third tip is to get yourself onto the most important part, because when somebody types in Fort Worth plumbing, 
and they're ready to buy, they call the first plumber that shows up that seems trustworthy, at least to give them a shot. And you want to be that customer or that, that company because those are the easiest customers to close. People skip these ads all the time. We already know that. It could be from ad blockers. It could be from bad experiences in the past. But either way, where you want to rank yourself is right here in the Google My Business or local map pack section. A ton of people click here. A majority of people click here. And how you get here is by having more citations than your competitors, which is anywhere where your name, your address, and your phone number are listed in different directories across the web, like Yelp, Yext, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Facebook, Angie's List, Home Advisor. These are the most common ones. The best strategy here is to figure out what directories your competitors are listed in, then go list yourself in those same ones and add a bunch more on top. So like if this guy right here, they've got like 200 directories are listed in, go list yourself in 300, all right? Those are my tips for you, Jonathan. I hope you found this really informative. Just as a quick recap, to make your website more authoritative, you need more content that has the proper keywords. To make your website more trustworthy, you need more backlinks that are relevant. So make sure that they have to do with plumbing. You don't want to just get any link out there. There's millions of websites and Google does not like spam. And then you need more citations. Just copy your competitors' directories and add yourself in those same ones. Jonathan, if you want to take this free information and apply it yourself, by all means, that is totally okay. I see you're already doing some work on your SEO, so I'm just here to help businesses out. Um, if you do want any help getting the stuff taken care of, you can always email us back and let us know. If you uh, want to give us a call too and just call us directly, our phone number is right down here. It's 214-441-6737. And even if you do not want to use us, just please send me back a sentence or two of feedback to let me know if you thought this video was valuable. Either way, I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day, Jonathan. Thanks. Bye.